Hi Aquarius, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Aquarius, this is your general reading starting today on the 19th of June. I was supposed to do a love reading last week, but I was feeling really, really weird, uh, weirdly sick, drained, fatigued, dizzy, uh, weird. Like I had a fever without having a fever. And I'm told that there was a, there was some stuff going on. I, whatever it was, I wasn't, I wasn't able to get clear information for you guys. I really tried there for a while, but it wasn't, it wasn't looking good. Um, and so I just decided to skip it and I'm going to move back to the love readings next week. And today there's going to be a general one. So we have the today's date 19. I'm incorporating the frequency of the number into the reading. So 19 is really cool. We have a number one, which is new beginnings. Number nine is endings. And then combining those, we have number 10, which is the completion. So the emphasis here really is on you shifting. You're shifting right now. Um, and also 19 is Prince of Heaven, or prin I've added Princess of Heaven. Why aren't there any Princesses of Heaven? Um, which means that there could be a very significant connection coming into you, to you um, sometime around this time. I've asked for the very near future. So let's see specifically what's going on for you, Aquarius. We're celebrating midsummer here today in Sweden. Happy Glad Midsommar. Alla svenska. And it's cool because it's when the it's when the midsummer. I think it's when the uh, it's the day of the year that has the most. Like I think it's just a couple of it's a very very short time that we have darkness. So it's almost light through the entire twenty four hours midsummer. It's really cool. That was just one card. Yep. Hey Aquarius, so the first card is number 17. 17 is all about immortality. So it's something is speaking about the longevity of things, the never-endedness of things. And like the shift, we talked about the today's number, like the frequency of the today's date is, okay, I wanna say that I saw 333 on the clock there. And three through th you might see 333 a lot, but the master number 33, and then adding on another three, it just tells me you're manifesting something really cool right now in your life. There's a completion happening. There's a new beginning, an ending, and a completion. Um, and with this number 17, we'll have a new beginning. The seven is like a full, is like when you, I know I tell my cake story, but it's such a good one. You add all the ingredients together, you put, put it in the oven, and you're having your cake baked. When your cake is baked is when it's number seven. It's time to eat it. It's time to take it out and really enjoy what you put together. And even the amount of time you needed to wait for it to get ready, it's now ready, it's now ripe. And then we're adding one plus seven equals eight. So we have like a infinity sign and it's like so above, so below, so in heaven, so on earth, which means that there's strong manifestation. It's also like a karmic re... Um, like you're getting something back. So it's like whatever. And then let's see 444. So it just mainly maybe is talking about how you are very much in alignment, Aquarius. 
high, high potential of just really, truly be in alignment with, with your wishes. What does that mean? It means that if you wished for something for a really long time, you've now accumulated the energy you need. Okay, so what, okay. what does it feel like to have a lot of money? If you put yourself in that feeling, what does it feel like to have a lot of money? And if you, if you, the minute you hear that and you say, I don't know, because I'm never, but you could feel it. If you could just picture what it's like to have a lot of money, what does it feel like? If you can picture what it feels like to be in a really loving relationship, you can picture what it feels like to be in a really healthy body. If you put yourself in that feeling state, in that vibration, you will attract what it is that you want, right? So when I say you're in alignment with your, you're in alignment, I'm talking, and then I say you're in alignment with your wishes. It means that because you're, you're holding the sun in your hands, we have a completion in the today's day. We have the light, you're, ho you're holding the sun, you have the light here with you. It's a really high vibing. Number 17, immortality, new beginnings, time to, time to reap what you've sown, uh, and the infinity sign, number eight. It just talks about how you're very much in balance. You're carrying, accumulating the vibration you need to have in order to have something to manifest. And you're doing that, Aquarius. There's something you're doing that is working. And having you already, you're soon going to see such results on the physical plane. But it's almost like it's not even necessary anymore because once you reach this place where you can accumulate this kind of energy, you come to realize you almost don't need it anymore because it feels so freaking good to be where you're at. Not to take away that you're not going to have what you want to have. You're going to have that. But you, you will realize that it was never about the thing. It was you being able to accumulate the energy, right? So that's what you're doing. It says hope on the bottom. I think we're well past hope. I think you're into knowing. I think you're you're feeling that it's about to something is about to shift for you. We are in this nine one ten shift. And now I see eleven forty four. So guys, I have two number ones and I have a four here on the table as well. So there's you're you're you probably are seeing a lot of number sequences like if it's 1144, 1133, 333, 444, 111, it's like, it's like your guidance is just, that is you being in alignment. That is just showing you how much in alignment you are. You're in balance, okay? So this card comes out and I almost get a bit annoyed with you. <laughs> Bear with me. I'm very unconditional. Um... Because you're about to freaking, you're about to freaking manifest. Because when I see, okay, so there's a castle in the back here. There's a castle and you've, it's like you've manifested it. You manifested a freaking castle. It's a bit blurry. I'll give you that. It's a bit blurry. So it's probably just the essence is here. The castle is probably not here, here, but it's like here, here. <laughs> But you're so in alignment, you, you're so close, you can taste it. Instead of then enjoying that and looking out over your own dreams and feeling the dreams and sitting with them and just really, ah, oh, just swim around in them, knowing that they're about to come and also having the rainbow seep in. We have the freaking rainbow here. So the rainbow energy is, is with you. Which means, again, that your every energy center in your body is very much in alignment. Okay? What you do then is you get a bit bored, Aquarius. Eh, the castle didn't show up today, so I'm not going to stick around and wait for it. <laughs> and then I get a bit annoyed with you, Aquarius, because give yourself an extra freaking hour. Turn, turn yourself around and watch what you've created or about to create because it's about to freaking come in and now when i see this uh, a rainbow situation here it reminds me of another card and this card is sort of is showing like each rainbow ray stråle i think that is in swedish um 
in that card it shows like how you're very much in line with with the spirit world with your higher self with your inner being how you're very much in alignment with your health your body uh romantic relationships finances money and the creative endeavor about you like that is a very much in alignment but you're a bit bored and the boredom is what what is keeping it away you feeling a bit bored is actually keeping out what you want so lay it off aquarius we have number four here so four is all about and i do apologize i forgot to say the the camera reverses the images in the cars, I know about it. Uh, so the force of a heart matter. It's a heart center. It's you're laying a new foundation. And then we have another number one. So it's a brand new beginning. You're starting over, starting fresh. You come from a very spiritual place, a very connected in place. Very intuitive, very balanced. It's this passion ignited on the bottom. And so it just tells me that you're there's something that is like is be, is coming alive again there's something you feel really passionate about and and looking forward to so i think it's a bit back and forth for you because you're this it's the same clothe clothe it's the same clothing same clothes like it's you're dressed in in purple you're dressed in purple one hour you feel bored that it's not here yet and the other hour is like oh man i feel it i feel it coming i feel it in my solar plexus it's it's moving it's on the move stay there aquarius and you will have it whatever this is it it, it will be here in no time what else for aquarius Wow, and here's the other card that is so similar to the ones to the one that I said. I talked about the the rainbow that is coming in, showing you all these the divine, the health, the romantic partnerships. It's sort of the same. It's a red border as the other card has as well. You're laying a new foundation, guys, and there's a change in your life path. You're changing something. Um, you're spending time really trying to be honest, really trying to feel authentic, uh, looking for the real version of you and doing a good job doing so because there's a, it, I feel freedom in that. I feel freedom in you really expressing who you are. And then there's a commitment. This could be both, um, and the other card, what I pick up there is more like the romantic type of love between two people this could be a romantic type of love between two people with the committed with the wedding band there but this could also be the commitment to spirit like this is this is your commitment to your inner being first and foremost if there's a commitment to your inner being there will be a commitment to the uh romantic partner if you want it of course as well you sort of it will be presented to you then we have two fingers in this red zone and it's not a red zone it's not a red flag it's it's just a foundation it speaks again about the foundation and because it's because we are taking up more space here with your hand it just shows and because it's a red border it just shows that you're you're laying the ground you're laying a new foundation for yourself and it, it is in various areas it's not just one thing but you're shifting a whole lot of things and so maybe at times when you're thinking about all these different things, it's so exciting. And sometimes when you're not quite there, it just becomes really overwhelming because then it's so many things that hasn't manifested yet. But you're on the right path. You're on the right track. And it's actually just the very boredom or the very frustration that it hasn't happened yet. That is the blockage to why it hasn't happened yet. So just continue to dream about it and see it and feel it. And it will show up. Uh, and then we have the health there. The health, you have a thumb in with health. <laughs> uh, that could be a diet regime. That could be you wanting to start to exercise. That's, that could be you just all of a sudden feeling like having more 
carrots or more green or more, you know, listen to those signals. That's the body asking for improvement. Okay. More water. You can never get enough water is what I feel. Okay. What else for, for Aquarius? exactly what I feel in, in one moment every card wants to come out and then nothing comes I think that's what you feel you feel like it's so close that everything is just gonna burst through that door one opportunity after the other is just gonna it's just gonna burst through and then nothing happens and so I, I get why you get frustrated sometimes but try to get away from the result I know that's so annoying to hear go meditate Go out in the woods for a bit. Would you go out in the woods? <laughs> but, re but really, try to get yourself in balance and stay there. When you have a tendency to feel frustrated, yeah, my point exactly. Stand your ground is what it says on the bottom. Stand your ground. That's the number seven. We have the number seven here with the immortality. So there's the cake again. You put the ingredients together, you put it in the oven, you waited for it to get ready, and now it's ready. So you need to treat it as if it's ready. I think you're treating it as it's still in the oven. You're still waiting for it to show up. You see, you're starting to see the initial, this feels like a solar eclipse to me. And like you're waiting for the, for the veil to be lifted. For you to be able to see it and I think you're gonna wait there for quite a while until you start stop treating it like it's still in the oven and it's still baking and and even I understand that well it's not here yet I don't see it yet no I know but in order for you to see it you need to treat it as if it's here okay so the thing that you're reaching for the thing that you want to that you want to have a result in if you're treating it as if it's done, if it's ready, the cake is ready. And you just keep repeating that. The cake is ready. So the rest, the rest is just a matter of time. It's a matter of timing. It's a matter of, um, I just needed to have some more carrots and drink some more water to be in perfect balance for it. It's a matter of whatever, but it's ready. The cake is ready. I've already taken it out from the oven. And I'm standing my ground. I'm not getting frustrated. I'm not wavering. I'm standing my ground. I'm waiting for this solar eclipse to just fully go. Is, don't we have a solar eclipse like in two days or something? I think it's a new moon and a solar. Can we have a new moon and solar eclipse at the same time? You're asking the wrong person. It might be the fact that we have that on the 21st, which is in two days from, from the day when I'm re recording this. So you might be looking at a super, super big change in just a couple of days. 21. Yummy. Okay, guys. One final card, and then I'm going to move into the extended and see what I can find for you guys there. There's something with the extended. I don't know what that is yet. Something's up with the extended. Oh, flipped. Flipped, but it didn't want to come out. Heartache and loss. Not big enough for it to want to come out, but big enough for it to just show its face. So maybe somebody is going through some bit heavier stuff. I'm sending you all my love. End card for Aquarius, please. Taking it 
sign. Do you have, yeah, we had a four and now we didn't have a six. Okay. Show you them at the same time. Firm, firm foundation. So I've talked about this foundation. It is a firm foundation and your heart is in on it. It's a heart matter. It's a firm foundation. You're building this firm foundation. You can stand tall. You can trust it. It'll, it is coming. Number six, the totality of you. Adding those up, we have a number 10. So there's a completion again. And it says uh, victory and success. You're tooting your own horn. It's like it's a triumph card. It's like you're celebrating your victory. And it is still a bit cloudy. It's still a bit like you don't have a clear vision just yet. But the sun is coming through. And you're, or it's like when somebody says, what are you celebrating? I'm celebrating that the cake is out of the oven. What? I see no cake. You don't. I do. So stay in this energy. Celebrate. Know that there the firm foundation is there. It's being laid as we speak. And when it's ripe and ready and you had some carrots or green or water, it, it is just going to come. Okay, guys. That's what I have for you. Uh, I'm going to move into the extended and see what I can find there. I just want to give you a heads up because I feel like there's something up with the extended. I don't know what that is. Um, so let's see what I can find there. If you feel like you resonate with it, the link is in the, in the description box. Uh, if not, thank you so much for, for watching and I hope to see you back in a week. Bye. Happy Midsummer.